Hey, sorry I'm running a little bit late, but man, we had a lot. We two here already, man. Now listen, I hope you were listening. This talk starts. I hope you listen to me on Thursday night. Right, because I told you, I told you to start Jordan Addison, told you to start Devontae, told you TJ Hawkins, I told you to be all there, TJ, take that ball. And that's exactly, and I told you to play that Philly defense. They were up in here business all night now. So I hope you all listen to me that. And now, that DeAndre Swift thing, come on now. I'm not a, I'm not a mind reader. I, I, I'm not a fortune teller. I can't see, I'm not Zoltan. I can't see the future. But let's talk some starts for this Sunday, okay? Starting tomorrow, the first number one. Jalen Waddle, okay? Now, I know you're not going to bench Tyreek Hill. I'm not saying that, but I know Jalen Waddle's a bit of a disappointment last week. And what I'm saying is, you know, a lot of attention was paid to Tyreek and Tua this week, and that's exactly what New England they're going to be focusing on tomorrow. So I think that's going to open just like with Edison. I think we're going to see that with Waddle. I think he's going to light it up, baby. I think Tua have a good game. Ain't going to be like last week. Ain't going to be no 400 yarder against these New England Patriots defense. Come on, dog. Now, that may open the door, you know, for, again, I, I, I think it may be a good time to tell you, you want to fire up Rain Mostert. This may be a good time. It may be a good Mostert day. Maybe a good Mostert day. Jordan Love, you want to start Jordan Love, okay? Ooh, I'm loving. First of all, after three touchdowns, 245 yards last week against against the Chicago Bears, and somehow people are like, oh, they're going to lose to Atlanta. Atlanta is supposed to be. They, are they some defense to be feared? All of a sudden, did some some transaction happen that I'm not aware of? Last time I checked, they're just still Atlanta. Oh man, what I tell you about that Zay Flowers now? I told you to start Zay Flowers. And listen, you just keep starting. He is clearly the guy again. That human joystick putting the joy in my stick, baby. You better start that Zay Flowers. Oh, and Sam Laporta. Listen up there in Detroit. That new tight end. Listen, when you got Dallas Goddard giving you five lousy damn points, why not? Okay, we saw last week that he is a big part of this team. Uh, week one, he's out there catching. He got them five, seven points last week. At w first game with this team. I'm telling you, Sam Porter's going to be, he's the next big tight end. Not the Dalton Kincaid. I mean, he's going to be all right. What happened to Michael Mayer, man, over there in Las Vegas? He's about nothing. Sam Porter, you start, you fire him up. You know who else I like, man? Monday night, George Pickens. I mean, Deontay Johnson, he all banged up. He ain't going to play. It, it is Pickens time. We is, And he ain't no rook. This is it. It's time. I know, quiet week. Last week, they're up against, come on, San Francisco, boy. I, I, they, they just they ran into a freight train and what happened. But this week, I mean, yeah, the Browns still very good deep, but they ain't. They ain't San Francisco. The Browns ain't San Francisco defense. I think it's going to be a good opportunity for George to get off that shine and have a real good game. I say you fire up George Pickens. Okay. I, I'm going to say right now, start Damian Pierce, all right? Damian Pierce, great great running back. Now, he had the Ravens at the gate, rookie quarterback, very difficult matchup week one. I love that Raven defense. I started that all over the place last week. But this week, up against the Colts, come on, dog. I think Colts, they let Travis Etienne win all over on them last week. So I feel pretty good about starting up Damian Pierce this week. If you need you, you can throw him in. I think RB2 or Flex, you throw him in there, I think he's going to do a real nice job for you.